we will share all the footage that we are allowed to with you under a Creative Commons by license. And I specifically say are allowed to because we have to get permission from the people that we interviewed before we share it with you. After we shut the interview, we will offload all the material onto external hard drives. In the edit, we'll use reference files, uh, so the structure will stay the same throughout the entire project. This also prevents us from making any duplicates in the process of editing. For every company and every person, we'll bundle all the source files of the cameras and the B-roll and the images that we make, the work files like the script and the timelines, and the exports that we make. Now, if the source files are significantly smaller, then ProS422 will be sharing the source files. The order in which we will share the footage with you will probably be that first we offload all the material to our disks, then we make our own edit, we share the H.264 file of the edit because we need that for YouTube and Vimeo, then we'll upload the ProRes version of our edit and the sound files, the timelines as XML and uh, Final Cut Pro 10. And lastly, we will be uploading all the source files that we used for the edit. To share the files, we'll be using Dropbox. It's the lowest cost option for us. It's the lowest maintenance option for us. And it also gives you the option to get notifications whenever we, we've uploaded something new. Now, if you have any recommendations or tips and tricks or suggestions how we can improve our workflow or how you would like us to share the files with you, then we're happy to know. So we'll gladly hear that from you.